sand in the clouds Just when I stopped Opening doors Finally knowing the one that I wanted Was yours Making my entrance again With my usual flair Sure of my life No one is there For it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God Don't you love fun? And if it begins with us my fault What will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? I saw this what I want. Sorry. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. Where are And then the heavens will pass away with a roar. And the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved. Don't bother. And the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Isn't it I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when you see the foolish who are taken in their folly, I say, realize they bring to themselves their just rewards. For I say, when men will repeatedly choose the way of fools, and I say, they are beaten with many stripes. But I say, when men will humble themselves and bow before me and come forth in my way, then I say, they are uplifted in me. And yes, they are given the strength, the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed reward the wise with more wisdom and guide them in the way of my life. But I say that the foolish who want their own way, who go abhorring and live apart from me, where do they end? I say they end in a heap, they end in despair, they end in futility of soul. But I say it is because they have chosen a way that I did not intend, nor did I provide. Now I say this day that I don't have been God never called you to live in a way that is far from me, but I say that I've called you to come forth in my way. And I say that I've called you to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. For I say it is a good thing to keep on loving, to keep on serving, to keep on walking uprightly in me, and to be ever knowing that through me so are you guided in the way of eternal life. Now I say this day you are living in times when men are taught to live for the now and not consider the future at all. That is, not consider where it is that they spend eternity, but simply to burn out in this life. And I say they follow along as fools taken in folly all to their own destruction, their own despair. And I say they are bound under my wrath revealed because their deeds are full of iniquity on every hand. But I say it is me, the living God, who is giving forth the call to all men, all men everywhere to repent. That is, that they would turn from the wickedness, the idolatry, the abomination of their own way. That they would indeed be found in the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope of who I am. That they could be uplifted and strengthened, directed and guided each day by me. As they will indeed but cleave unto me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. Now I say this day that I the living God do have the way prepared. And when men will accept my way, then they are abiding in me. But I say when men are ever contending against me, despising what it is that I ordain, what do they do? I say they take themselves in a way that will prove to be damnation. They take themselves in a way that will prove to be destitution of soul. And I say they take themselves in that which I never ordained for them. I say this day let it be me that you will look to. Let it be me that you will believe in and trust day by day. 
For I say, if you are indeed trusting in me, then you are guided in light. But I say, if you are looking to any other source, any other way, you are looking to that which will cause you to be nothing but a fool. And I say, you are choosing destitution of soul above the way of truth. I say this day that I am having God do not call you to live in destitution, but I say that I call you to live and abide in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be uplifted, directed, and brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. For I say, when you will be cleaving unto me, believing and trusting, then I say you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the strength to continue for I, the living God, to give to you the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do call you to be faithful, to be true, and to be steady in me. I say that I never call my people to be guilty of whoredom and spiritual adultery, whereby they give themselves to other lovers of the gods. Yet I say you are living in a time when men have invented their own Jesus and they bow to the same. And I say they take on the attributes of the world and they love it so. Yet I say all the while they claim they are serving me, but it absolutely is not true. For I say they are serving delusion, confusion, and the madness of their own way. I say this day that I the living God do not call you to the madness of your own way, but I say that I call you to the way that I provide. That is, the way that is truth and light, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, if you are coming forth uplifted each day in the way that I give thee, then I say you are renewed in me. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, and the mercy of who I am. I say this day that I, the living God, will give the light to my own, if they will but walk humbly before me. That is, ever coming forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength of who I am. For I say, when you truly will walk in what it is that I give thee, then I say you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the strength for I, the living God, to give my strength unto thee day by day. I say this day that I, the living God, will give to you the light upon the path I will give to you, the mercy, the truth, and the hope day by day. And I say that I will cause you to know what it is to be kept, for I am the one who will keep thee day by day. That is, I will keep thee in the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy that I provide. And I say that I will bring you forth, for yes, indeed, you can be found rejoicing in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to walk in the weariness of carnality and be overwhelmed by those things that the enemy would send to devour their souls. But I say that I call my people to strive to stay under the mind of my spirit, that they are indeed united unto me. For I say you are not meant to be a washout, giving way to demon forces and being overwhelmed in the same. But I say you are meant to hold steadfastly to what it is that I ordain and walk uprightly in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do give to my people the light upon the path, and I say they are expected to walk in the same. That is, not turning aside to darkness, nor evil, nor iniquity, but realizing that they must maintain the light that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give forth abundance of truth, abundance of light, and abundance of mercy to the ones who choose to live in me. That is, the ones who will humble themselves in repentance each day and walk each day in my way. For I say that my way is given, my truth is provided, and my light is upon the pathway of those who desire to walk in me every single day. But I say to the ones whose hearts are full of adultery, I say they will find their ways of deviation from me. And I say they will pervert and twist the truth to accommodate their sin, but I say they are the fools who are taken in the folly of the same. And I say they are the ones who will be found under my wrath revealed because of their whoredom against me. I say this day that I, the living God, absolutely do not call you to whoredom and wine, but I say that I call you to soberness and fidelity unto me. That is, I call you to walk soberly each day, maintaining the way of life that I've set before thee. For I say it is me, the living God, who has given thee the purpose, the truth, and the light always. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be brought forth ever guided by me. Therefore, I say in a way to perverse, a vile, wicked generation, be thankful to adhere to my way. And I say, be thankful to be uplifted and brought forth, guided and directed in truth and light, in mercy, for I am the I am. 
that is, I am the God who loves thee and brings thee forth as you who adhere unto me. I say this day, do not be as the foolish, do not be as the easily beguiled and led astray, who go out of my way because they turn aside to other gods. But I say, be as the wise who are ever adhering unto me, coming forth in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I provide. And I say, be made glad each day that you can believe upon me, trust me, and walk uprightly in me. And I say, be made glad each day that you can be brought forth, knowing that it is me you could look to and believe. Now I say, this day when I, the living God, do give to you the truth, the light, and the mercy, and you will adhere to the same, then I say, you can be found ever abiding in me. And yes, you can be directed in that which I give you time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give to you the light, the truth, and the mercy each and every day. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to know what it is to be kept. For I am the one who keeps you each and every day. Now I say, this day, count it a privilege to keep on trusting, believing, and looking unto me, for I am the one who guides you in life. And I say that I am the one who does renew you time and again, as you will but adhere unto me. For I say, when you will be cleaving to me, believing upon me, and trusting in me day by day, then yes, you are guided forth by me. And you are given the truth, the hope, the mercy, and the strength that I ordain, for I give to my own the same. I say this day counted a privilege to believe upon me, to trust me, and be kept by me as you keep yourselves in me. And I say be aware that the enemy is always seeking to destroy the righteous, undermining the same. But I say you are not meant to give way to the enemy, nor the assaults of wickedness that would come upon thee. But I say you are meant to be knowing, understanding, and realizing your ever-present need of me. Now I say this day when you see the ones who have behaved foolishly, who have behaved wantonly and given themselves over to demon forces, know that without repentance they will never be restored. For I say when men will not admit their sin, confess the same and return to me, there is no mercy for them. For I say, when a man will harden his heart against me to defend his pride, no such a man is a fool. And I say, when a woman will cover her whoredom and say she is all right, when really she is headed to hell, she is deceived. I say, this day do not give in to the aggressive forces of darkness, but I say, be aggressive against them. That is, in the sense that you refute the lies of the liar, that you refuse to succumb to whoredom and wine and be overwhelmed in the same. For I say you are meant to keep yourselves soberly abiding in me. And I say you are meant to be uplifted, directed, and brought forth in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is righteousness revealed. And it is me, the living God, who is indeed the truth provided for those who trust in me. Therefore I say, keep trusting, believing, and hoping in me day by day, for I will give you newness of life. And I say that I will cause you to be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed in my way. And I say that I will cause you to know what it is to be thankful unto me. That is, that you can be receiving the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, do not lead you into a ditch of mire, but I say that I bring you forth in the strength and narrow way, the way that is life and truth, the way that is hope and strength and safety provided. I say this day do not take up conspiracy whereby you conspire against me, but I say instead be refuting and refusing the unfruitful works of darkness that would seek to grab hold of thee. And I say, be steadily declaring the war against sin, for I say that sin is a devouring and destroying force. And I say, when men give way to sin, they give way to lies, they give way to iniquity, and they are overwhelmed. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to be overwhelmed, but I call you to come forth. And I say that I call you to be made glad, ever thankful to believe and receive of me. That is, ever guided in blessedness, in truth, in mercy, and strength, and the hope of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, will not cease to give to the ones who serve me the way wherein they can be kept. And I say that I provide protection for my own as they abide in me. 
Better say when you see a man or a woman who throws off my covering to go whoring after the world, to go whoring after their secret lust or ambition, no, they are nothing but fools. And I say when you see the ones who grow drunk on wickedness and the spree that accompanies the same, no, they are headed to hell. For I say that I don't have been God will not accept the ones who are unrepentant and refuse to change their ways. For I say they are fools who will be devoured, destroyed under my wrath, for folly is their cup. And I say when they drink their cup and they laugh in the hysteria of their madness, know this one thing, that they are the fools who are damned and will be destroyed. And I say they are the ones who will incur my wrath, my fury, my indignation in this life because of their stubbornness, their pride, their refusal to bend the knee unto me. Therefore I say, be quick to repent, be quick to change and obey my way, that you can be kept always. Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in me there.